Hello everyone. My name is Rohit Kumar and in this tutorial we will learn how to use basic tools of Lightroom mobile like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now we will start with the exposure. Now what is exposure? The amount of light enters through your camera is nothing but the exposure. In a simple language, exposure determines how light and dark an image will appear when it's been captured by your camera. This setting allows you to an extent artificially adjust your exposure of your image. The extent of your adjustment is largely depends on the dynamic range of the photograph and obviously by your camera. This setting is extremely useful in correcting any kinds of over or under exposure that may have happened during shooting of your image. Now by moving slider to the left, we get darker image and by moving slider to the right, we are brightening the image. Now remember, while increasing the exposure, we may get noise in the shadows and we don't want any sort of noise in our image. So keep that in mind. So Lightroom Mobile allows us to adjust exposure up to plus 5 or minus 5 stops. So our next slider is the contrast slider, which will help to define the areas of lightness and the darkness. In the vast majority of the photograph, it will end up by increasing the contrast slightly as it tends to help bring out more details and the make photo pop a little bit. This slider is good for making minor changes but overall it doesn't support or it doesn't offer much control over tones of the image. So I would definitely prefer tone curve over contrast slider. Now the next sliders are highlights and the shadows. A highlight is a bright spot on the photograph and the shadow is the dark spot on the photograph. These tools are the most powerful tools in the Lightroom. These two sliders works in totally opposite direction. The more detail you want in your highlights, the lower you will drop the slider and the more details you want in the shadows, you will increase the slider. If you watch the histogram, you will notice that the shadow slider has an effect on the data towards the left side of the midtones and the highlight slider will work on right side of the midtones. Now moving forward, we have whites and blacks. It is a very good habit to have a perfect mixture of whites and blacks in the image. To obtain that, we have these two sliders. To get a perfect white and black point, just place two fingers on the slider and move it. Now you will notice the mask. Now release the finger when you will get some colors in the mask. I hope you are clear with these tools now. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to use tone curve in the Lightroom. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more such content. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Till then, bye.